Look at her hat. Look Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to be showing you a work in progress build. This is the PlayStation Classic PC edition. Um, basically, I went ahead and changed it up a little bit from my normal classic editions. So, as you can see, the theme here looks a little bit different than my NES Classic build or my SNES Classic build, so on and so forth. Um, recently, I did a patron only Dreamcast Classic Edition release. Um, I've done quite a few PS2, PSP. <laughs> What else is N64? So I wanted to do a PlayStation Classic P PC edition. I wanted to do it for a while. I did release a patron only um, quite a few months back, but I wanted to do an updated version. So I'm going to go through it with you guys um, really quickly here. Uh, first, I want to give credit to the creator of this theme. So this theme is actually called Arcade Color, and I've renamed it, um, but it was created by Kent79 way back in August 2016 and I've just come across this theme recently um, and I modified it quite a bit but just enough so that it would be PlayStation styled um, and I wouldn't even mind if the PlayStation Classic Edition actually looked like this the UI um, you know I think it looks alright the memory cards in the corner tell you what the buttons do so X if you're using a PlayStation style controller for this build, you know, X would be play the game, square would be preview the video snap, so you can see here, and you can even scroll the games with video snaps. And we can press it again. Um, triangle would be options, and you can go ahead and set all your options up, and circle is back. So I just put a bunch of games in here that I would play for PlayStation. Um, you know, I guess I could scroll through the list with you. I'm kind of scrolling through. Uh, it's not so much about the games, it's just kind of a work in progress. Not sure if this would be the final games list per se. Um, I guess we can get into the games list once I start back from the beginning. But I did want to show this to you guys. Now it does have some pretty cool options with it. Uh, let me just, you know, say what you're seeing. So you're seeing the PlayStation console with the original controller. You've got two memory cards that are telling you which buttons do what. Uh, game name at the top, nice and big. Uh, I wanted that to stand out. And then you've got the flashing PlayStation Classic in each corner, so that's just something. And then the little arrows telling you which way to go. Um, if we go to options, so you can see we have a blue background. If we want, we can go to displays, Sony PlayStation, and we'll go to PlayStation Classic. So we'll go layout options, and we can change it. So I do have it muted, but the video snaps do play the sound in the background. So theme color, you've got blue. We could do purple, gray, custom. Custom means you can go ahead and change the red, green, blue settings to whatever you'd like. And then we have red, orange, green, blue. So let's go to green. So that's what it looks like, green. Looks pretty nice. And I'll do red as well. So red looks pretty cool too. I like red. Um, this is just a really good theme. Uh, it was really well done. It works really nicely. What I want to do with this build, um, maybe not the build itself, but the theme is try it on a Raspberry Pi. And If anyone has used this uh, arcade color theme on a Raspberry Pi, let me know. Because you can go ahead, put this theme on a Pi, and create your own mini PlayStation. So, I mean, that's kind of kind of what I wanted to gear it towards. Um, I stepped away from the, the Super, Super Nintendo and Nintendo style uh, modified themes for this one. And that was just because, you know, I do like them. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's just this theme feels like it would be simple enough to use on a Pi. So when you when you go over a game, you see the box art kind of fades in. Pretty neat. And running through Retro Retro Arch. Um, let's go ahead and launch Metal Slug. So I just have my buttons configured as a PlayStation controller. Um, right now I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, but I could use my PS3 controller hooked up through Bluetooth if I wanted to things like that 
slow CD image read detected. That's basically probably because I'm recording. Um, earlier, when I wasn't recording, I didn't get that error. Yeah, it's definitely because I'm recording, because this loaded a lot quicker um, when I wasn't. But I just wanted to shoot this video and kind of show you guys what I'm working on. Yeah, we'll go with Marco. But definitely, you know, the PlayStation Classic comes out December 3rd. And I do have a pre-order, and I'm hoping I like it. They still have not announced... Um, more games and I feel like you know what's taking so long because really it shouldn't be taking as long as it is uh, I don't know why they're not releasing any information but they should be I mean you know Nintendo when they make an announcement they've got a games list they're ready to rock and roll I feel like Sony may have jumped the gun and rushed it uh, without having a complete games list, just in case the N64 Classic was coming out, um, then they could be in direct competition with Nintendo. Uh, as far as the mini classic consoles go, I mean, they didn't call it anything different. They were just like, yeah, it's a classic. You know, we'll, we'll just call it a classic. And Nintendo calls it Classic Edition. They just called it the PlayStation Classic. Um, and I, I don't think we're going to see an N64 Classic Edition this year. I was really hoping we would, but I just don't foresee it right now. Um, just Nintendo normally would give us a little more lead time. Now, hopefully I'm wrong, and they announce it like within the next day or so. Oh, man. Um, but I, I think that 2019 at the earliest is, is if we're going to see an N64 Classic Edition, which I believe we will, uh, that'll be the earliest that we get to see it. There we go. I'm usually better at this than that. So I'm going to back out. I use select and down, like I'm using Hatchy. Then it goes right back. Uh, I kept the blue because it seems more PlayStation themed, uh, like colored. I don't know. But all the colors look good. Um, the font is using an actual PlayStation font. So I went ahead and, and did that. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I scrolled through the games list. I don't need to name them all off. You can kind of see what's on here. And it will get trimmed down uh, before the release. You know, I put all Twisted Metals on there and uh, all the Crashes, which I think all the Crashes deserve to be on there. The Die Hard Trilogies, I'm a fan of both. Dino Crisis, I'm a bigger fan than I am of number two, but they're both decent games. Uh, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, <laughs> Origins, Tactics. So it's just uh, like Final Fantasy 1 and 2, I guess I could put the games list, I could put it before um, number four, or Chrono Trigger, whichever, but it is what it is. Gran Turismo uh, definitely deserved to be there, stuff like that. Um, it's playing BinQ files, it also plays PvP files um, because it's running through RetroArch. I use the Mednafen core. Um, now, it's not using the Mednafen hardware core. My laptop just doesn't run them properly like that. But if you have a more powerful PC, you can definitely switch it to the hardware core. Um, and that's something I can show in a future video. This is more of just a, you know, here's what it looks like. And give me your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think of this build. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm, I'm liking the way it looks. But there could be some things that people don't like. And maybe I can modify. Maybe I can't. I'm not sure. Um, but this is pretty much it. So this is... The PlayStation Classic PC Edition, this is a work in progress, so a pre-release. Um, and again, please post in the comments uh, if you like it or not. And as usual, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. You can get um, updates with any video that I release. Um, and most importantly, have a good day.